Andy Cohen was injured on the set of Watch What Happens Live during a commercial break. The host was backstage when he grabbed a hot curling iron that belonged one of his guests, Carol Brooks, thus burning his hand. Welcome back to, Watch What Happens Live, Cohen said after the break. I'm Andy Cohen in the clubhouse where one could drink too much and make an inappropriate statement, or they could grab Carol Brooks's curling iron with their hands during the commercial break and burn themselves, which is what I just did, he explained. With a fresh burn on his hand, Cohen decided to carry on with the show. I am in pain. I'm not kidding you, he said. After the incident, he took to Twitter to say, simply, that hurt. To help ease the pain, Cohen placed some ice of his hand, but viewers were sending in messages to Bravo, saying that he shouldn't actually ice a burn. Okay, well then I'll take it off. Can someone bring me what is good for burns? He said, during another break. Cohen put his hand in some milk and someone applied some burn cream to his fingers before bandaging him up. Cohen told the audience such, adding that he was shaking, which he said was very weird. On July 14, 2022, Cohen shared a video from his gym. He was with his longtime trainer Stanislav Kravchenko and his pal Amy Sedaris. It was horrible, he said. If I never see another curling iron again in my life, he added as Kravchenko stretched him out. The hand burn wasn't the first time that Cohen injured himself while filming WWHL, either. On the August 16, 2020, episode of the Bravo After Show, Cohen actually cut his lip on air. He took out his frustrations on a blue plastic cup, crumping it up and then putting it in his mouth to bite it and really let it all out. He went on with the show, talking to Karen Huger who joined him remotely due to the pandemic. Within seconds, blood appeared at the corner of his mouth. Did I cut my lip? Oh my god, look, you guys, I cut my lip. Oh my god, accidents, but I got that out of my system, he said, wiping away the blood. He later took to Twitter to declare, I am truly an idiot.